with Polly John Pythagoras. Let him match. Yeah, triple cash. Yeah. I seen a metaverse through metatope, my eyes a megaphone Customize my empty skin to optimize my flesh and bone Phase 1 evolution, revolution Smart contracts inside your smartphone Phase 1 evolution, revolution Help me healthy ET phone Whole body markerless motion capture The metaverse broken after the metatope golden era The whitelist still open, hurry up what you need Golden chariot Holy virgins that's holding cherubims Paving the road with fairy dust Create, the, create the avatar of your wildest dreams Yeah, and use it inside your live stream and all yeah. your metaverses, favorite games and widescreen. Metatope, visualize your digital eyes. Welcome, everybody. Come on in. We're just getting everybody uh, brought up onto the stage. Make yourselves comfortable. Welcome. Yo, what up? You guys hear me okay? Is it loud? I can hear you. You, you kind of sound a little far away, but you are in New York, so <laughs> you sound all right. Six, get up here, Six. Get up here. We are live from NFT NYC, rooftop of the Public Hotel. I'm sitting next to Coco, the party ape, his brothers from all sorts of mothers, and <laughs> even the same, I think. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we uh, we chilling. Uh, six is on his way up. Let me get you up here. Thanks, everyone, for joining in. I'm sorry if it's a little loud. We... Uh, you know, we're we doing a live from NFT NYC. We want to give everyone updates on everything happening out here. Um, and what's uh, what's popping in the market. I think everyone here is extreme, extremely happy about the market today. Uh, we are seeing green numbers. We saw ETH hit 2,000. And, um, yeah, that that's, should be exciting for everybody. I'm, I'm happy that uh, everyone here showed up early. Thanks for being here at 6 p.m. on the dot. What's up, Six? What up, homie? I miss you so much. I'm sad you're not here. <laughs> What's up? What's up, man? I know y'all over there balling out of control since the fucking market pump. I I heard y'all having a lot of fun, man. You know, I've been keeping tabs on a lot of y'all, making sure y'all good in the city. It ain't the same without you, bro. It ain't the same without you. It's that all way. right, though. We got plenty more. We got plenty more. You know, there's always going to be another chance, another opportunity. Um, I know Miami things coming around the corner, Austin coming around the corner. So we're going, we're going, you know, we're going to party for sure. You know, it's crazy. You got profits out here hanging out with other women, not hanging out with me. And that must've been, <laughs> must because you, because you're not here. And, um, it's very sad, you know, like, uh, it don't feel the same profits out there having fun with uh, other people. I, I just text her. She better get in here and talk to us and, and explain herself. Um, but no, it's, a. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, it's, it's been interesting so far. I mean, we've been here for a couple of nights. We got another night of planned ahead of us right now. Hopefully going into the Steve Aoki event. We're waiting pending approval for that. Um, we have tonight, we have a kid called beast who was able to meet no signal from our space last week. Uh, we have a lot of really fun, uh, you know, it, it's been fun, you know, being at the D gods hotel, um, you know, obviously we threw that party with them before, and I'll say that I haven't seen anything that's matched it yet. I mean, Buckets threw an awesome party last night. Um, yeah, we haven't we haven't seen anything of that. I haven't seen anything honestly from that's been the, the quality of uh, last year's NFT NYC. And I think uh, tonight at the Marquee, if we can get into that Steve Aoki event, that will probably be um, one of those like one of those like I guess high 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 dollar spending. I mean, even tonight, maybe a kid called Beast. I'm I'm really excited for that too because. They uh they teamed up with Medowin, our friends over at Medowin, Richard Skellhorn, uh, is one of the sponsors for that. So I'm really excited to see what they got going on. But uh, I'll be honest with you guys, there's been some real, there's some down to earth D gods holders. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, there's uh there's some really really cool people in this ecosystem, and I I'm more bullish on the on the people more than anything. I, I think that I think that we're really gonna see a shift in how events work in the future, and I'd love to see you know not only when Metatope has the collection and, and uh, the ecosystem, but really just, just the co collabing with, with the other, uh, with, the, with these other event holders and uh, providing an experience that would make somebody uh, want to be there. You know, like maybe, maybe it's a, an NFT drop in the future where it's like anybody that attended will get something of true value with actually maybe like utility attached to it. And I think we, I think the Metatope will be the a way to do that. And I think that, you know, something that we collaborate with you on six and, and other, other projects and uh, people. And 
yeah, no, just having a, having a blast, man. So um, I want to kind of run it. Let's talk about the market real quick. You know, we have a, we have a Bitcoin, Bitcoin sitting at a, $30,359. ETH is still holding strong with a 5% increase, but you're seeing the altcoins. This is typically altcoin time. So um, as Bitcoin dominance goes down, altcoins typically run. And uh, right now you have Optimism, you've got Doge, you've got a lot of stuff going on. And some of these, uh, what, what, what do you guys think? When are we going to see one of those like 30% days for like a, for like a Shiba or, you know, what do we, do we need an Elon tweet? What do you guys think? You know what? I think it's coming. I think uh, what we just see today, uh, Elon's bringing finance and crypto into Twitter. Uh, I think on the day that launches, we're going to see some huge numbers. Let's go. What do you think, Six? What do you think, Six? What are you, what are you doing? <clears throat> I, I, what I'm doing, you don't want to know what I'm doing. I'm outside of the strip club right now. But uh, uh, I'm being honest. You know, you know, I don't know how to lie. But what it is is... Uh, I don't know, bro. It, it, when the market gets to pumping a lot, I just got to be honest. All right, let me just be honest with this shit. Let me crush everybody's fucking dreams. We get happy when we get a little pump. It might be five. It might be 10. Oh, you get a 10% pump. Oh, we're fucking nuts around here. I think we forget a lot of us is down 80, 90%. We've been doing bad for so long. Did a little pump just get us excited? But it's good. It's good to see the market going up. Uh, I still don't believe it. I still um, just be aware. Anybody that's trading, uh, be aware of what you're doing, you know, because we, you have to realize there's a lot of people holding a lot of Bitcoin. It's a lot of people holding a lot of crypto. If they dump, it's going to dump. If they start buying, it's going to jump a little bit. So you have to realize that you got to look at was uh, don't romanticize with the idea of we in a bull market. Do not romanticize with the idea or oh, we're doing good now is all the way up and then fucking wreck yourself. Uh, just, just, just beware if you're DCA and go ahead, but pay attention. Uh, just, just, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I don't believe it. I, lo- I don't believe it. And I still feel like, you know, I'm not bearish. I just like that the market, been down and i needed to go even down further for the simple fact a lot of people will be able to accumulate on the long term when it comes down to traders you're going to make money on the way down on the way up so it doesn't matter so like me personally when when the market moves up and down i really don't care you know i'm gonna take my profits when i'm gonna take my profits but if i'm down fucking 70 80 percent on my holdings, fuck, I'm taking profits for you know man i'm i'm riding this wave until till we get where i'm going you know, so that be the thing is, is I'm just be, and I'm blessed to be able to do that. So for those that just kind of entering a little here, a little there, just, just, just be careful, you know, just be careful. You know, sometimes you got to unplug, go outside, breathe, go, go have a couple of drinks. It's amazing to see profits, all y'all out there having fun, unplug, go touch some grass, touch some ass, you know what I mean? Do what is that you need to do, but hell just, yeah. And, Enjoy your life. What you doing, Prophets? What's up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I heard hold you. On, hold on. Prophets, Prophets just thinks she can roll up in here and take over the show. Um, you know, she's she's uh, she wouldn't even come to Chinatown with me. She was too busy putting on makeup, making sure she had the right outfits picked out. It's about 100 degrees in New York right now. None of us planned for 100 degrees. I think all of us have a wardrobe full of uh, sweaters and, uh, and uh, ski jackets. And, um, yeah, I'm – I, I can't go shopping because I don't have enough room in the suitcase. And now I have a, I don't know how I'm going to get a giant duffel bag from D God with a, uh, with a glass boot in it and uh, a towel. And I'm going to get that back to Florida somehow. But um, the market is pumping. Go buy you another bag. Go ahead. Pay the extra fee. No, nah, man. I mean, I, I'm down bad, bro. I, I'm still down like 70%. I don't want to look. Uh, I'm just happy to see the green, but you know, you're right. You ever, if you haven't touched grass or touched some ass, you know, that's probably a good idea. It's a great time to to do that kind of stuff. What are you What are you doing, profits? You touching grass or ass? Mm-hmm. Both. 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 I know you hanging out with all the girls. The... I, I was trying to find out where the girls at. I thought you were the the plug, and um, yeah, you definitely weren't at the same parties as me. <laughs> um. Yep. Just got to the big event. You know, waiting for my clout juice to activate so I can get walked in. 
And then, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to see you in an hour. I can't wait. Jesus, Prophets, the cops are coming for you. Holy smokes, they were down the street at full force right there. Um, no, we're going to have fun at Wolf Financial. And then uh, I think wherever the night takes us, to their kid called Beast, Aoki, whatever, we do it all. We, we have that type of, uh, type of connection. They're so close. We could do both. Sick. Well, that's good to hear. But, I mean, I'm just telling Six, we, you know, it, this ain't the same without him. Um, Six is having FOMO, but it's okay. We're going to figure out how to get to Texas. Right, Chris? Yeah, we're going to – if Jordan doesn't fly me, I'll walk. Just start walking right now. Maybe I'll just start walking from New York at this point. All right. I'm going I'm to I'm be honest with you. And not since I have everybody here. Chris. Bro, I'm scared of Texas. Go. I can't catch. Then we I would only really go for six. Nah, nah, man. I'm going to tell you. Hold on, hold on. All y'all motherfuckers that's in tech, you have to be a consensus. Like, you have to be. That's where all the tech, all the VCs, everybody to make the decisions, that's where they go to. It's not. I know it's not as, quote unquote, it's not as fun as the NFT event, as some DJs running around fucking drinking out of shoes and shit and then putting it back on you know i know it's not as fun as that but it can be but the reality is when it comes down to anyone that's in tech anyone that's in the space why would you not go to the biggest conference in in the country when it comes down to web3 technology and all of this shit like that that is where the decisions get made so the same way as the satellite you might not go into the conference but they have events all over the place, just like they do it anywhere else. And that's where the people is going to be. When when you're looking for funding, when you're looking for partners, when you're trying to see who has the next technology that's going to take over in the next five, 10 years, that's where they at. And we have to realize, I know we all, a lot of us think like DJs and shit, even like me, I'd be like, man, I, last year I was like, fuck that shit, bro. What the fuck are we going to do over there? But, and then we go to LA and fucking get drunk. Up. I was like, bro, it's all we going to do is fucking party. Chris, like, yeah, we working though. We're going to work and then we party. But when the party never ends. And then when I keep, I keep it going, I don't care. I don't stop. I'm, we going to go. So that is a problem. So we have to find a balance. I'm going to be in Austin for consensus. You know, we finna turn up. Uh, if you want to test them, they got plenty of grass and, and everything else around that motherfucker. Yeah, so. Holy shit, I can't even talk up here. It's this Wi-Fi is in like, uh, this Wi-Fi sucks. But um, yeah, well, I'm shoving French fries in my face right now for the first uh, first meal outside of Chinatown. Um, keep talking, Six. Yeah, please tell us about your party, man. I, I'm going to get these French fries down so I, I feel better here. I'm. What happened? Park next to it? Oh, oh man, you, you know got to tell me before I get out the car, man. You know, man, I'm trying to go. I, I, I'm, muted, I'm muted six. You know, I have to take over here. Um, Profits, we need to get shirts with six's face from watching the guy do a shoey at the event in L.A. We need that, like, where he is literally trying to hold in his, uh, hold it in. Like, it, it just was, it's the perfect face. Let's get giant. His face plastered on our chest in giant shirts, like black shirts with just with just six his face, and uh, wear him to uh, consensus. My bad. That is a fucking meme right there, bro. It was my first time, and, and it was, and it was dope. You know, man. I, I ain't even go. I ain't even gonna lie. It was it, it was a great experience. Just seeing a lot of this shit, but I don't see how you gonna take. You know what? Any D guys that go on a consensus. Let me know. I will have brand new pair of shoes at the door for you to make do, do shoes. It will be brand new. You don't have to put no it back way. on your feet. Yes, no I will way. have. I'm, yeah, that is true utility of a party. Yeah. So yeah, now we just throwing a little event. Yeah, we. Did, you have to. It was like my face broke, and I'm glad they caught that because that's how I really felt. Like I couldn't believe what my eyes was. I'm like, is this motherfucker really about to do that? And he did that. Legendary. Hey, Prophets, what you wearing? Uh, oh, she's probably getting chased down by the cops outside. Nah, nah, I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm here. I just didn't want to meet. Hello. Hey. How you doing? Good, how you? I'm blessed, blessed. Uh, this is with my friends hanging out. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh -huh. oh, so, yeah. boy. Well, we know what we know where Six is heading. He's heading to uh, touch something. Um. But, you know, this is also a family-friendly family space. Let's not forget. 
and there's no financial advice here. Okay, so and and, and Six's cases right now, he's spending his profits. You know, he's Coco the same way. and Coco said the same thing. Coco, you said the same way here. He's doing what he's doing. What everyone should do. There you go. You heard it from Coco himself. Do what everyone <laughs> everyone be like Six is what he's saying. Um, shout out to Poco in the audience. The man, the the he's not even a myth. And shout out to Jordan. What's up, Jordan? How you doing, bro? Where are you where you're at? You're in the hotel about a few floors down, right? I'm a few floors down from you. Yeah. Um, Why don't you rest- come up to the roof here and uh and uh, have a have a French fry? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fries? Are we talking like sweet potatoes, shoestring? What no, are these? these things? Are uh, these things are like pretty skinny fries? In oh, fact, yeah. Um, yeah, I saw. I, I'm not sure you want to come up here. To be honest with you, Jordan. The guy, the guy with the uh, underwear hanging out is right behind me. And um, <laughs> <laughs> there is. Uh, six, I'm gonna send you something you can't unsee. All right, yeah, hey Chris. Yeah. Oh, let's go on six. No, go ahead, Jordan. What were you saying? No, nah, so okay, so I was out here with you last year. Um, I don't know, profits. Were you out here last year? I think we lost profits to the streets. All right, all right. Well, what Chris, what do you see that's different this year from last year? Um, and then I'll I'll give my quick take. I think we're seeing more communities, really, really strong community presence. Um, less less big names from like emerging or like web two brands that are thinking they're gonna bust in. I I don't I don't we're not seeing that type of stuff. I feel like we're seeing a lot more like a lot more um, holder based events. Outside of like the, you know, like what Buckets threw yesterday for, you know, Nack Amigos is what we all called it. But really, that was a Shell Orbs. Um, that was a collaboration through a different, couple different projects. But I'm just seeing, um, I'm seeing more community, community led. And, it, and, it, and I'm very bullish. And that's why I said earlier, is like I'm bullish on the people here. Um, and I think we're really solidifying more friendships of, of existing communities working together in the future for these uh, going forward. I mean, the expo was, the expo when I went there yesterday was, uh, the, the projects that were throwing the booths that they probably paid anywhere from ten to thirty thousand dollars for were extremely basic. Uh, they, it was like, I don't know. The auto show, the auto show next door had like about a hundred x more people in it. All right. So if if we have one percent of the entire country owning NFTs, we're probably in good shape. That's like. 35 million people um no sorry 3.5 million people um but hey so so yeah i i I think what kind of along the lines of what you said what six said one thing that i i'm noticing is really really high quality people here and as we're kind of i mean you asked when we're going to see the next 30 percent day i'm personally hoping it's not for a bit because i want to see less volatility um and just i mean slow and steady growth we need to we need to build this foundation. Um, I think it's great that we shook out a lot of the, a lot of the weaker players and weaker parties, and uh, now we're, we're we're left with some really quality builders, and we're going to keep building together. We're going to keep growing these communities. You're really seeing that um, with all these like different niche communities, how how strong they are. It's really admirable, um, especially given the last year that everybody went through. So I'm pumped to see where everything's going right now. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really glad we're here. These events are still awesome. It's definitely way different than last year, but I think it's good. I think it's it's what we all need. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be here next year. I'm excited to go join Six and Consensus. I think it's at the end of this month and uh, we'll just keep rolling. Yeah, and, and it's really hard to justify paying eight hundred dollars to go to Sienna, uh, this NFT NYC, and when you can go, I mean, you can literally go next door and pay fifteen dollars to get into a car show and drive a jeep up and down a uh, a giant like conveyor belt looking thingy. I, I just don't understand it. Like I don't understand how anybody can justify this eight hundred dollar purchase to go into a into a convention that I, I went into yesterday. In fact, I didn't pay. Everyone's basically handing out each other. They're handing each other their uh, their lanyards, and it's just like you, you, you just you just know it's you just know like you just feel for somebody like I, you pay it forward, you know? Like it's like man, save yourself eight hundred dollars here, and like let's be real, like this this is not it's not sustainable. Like there's you you, you want the average person to come in, they're going to the auto show next door, literally. And why you know my thing is like why not partner with the auto show 
why not create an experience between when you have two different conventions literally in the same convention center at the Javits and create an experience where somebody, when they use the test drives of these Jeeps, uh, that they get an, uh, they get an M NFT in a custodial wallet or something. There's got to be way better. Like, it shouldn't be split. Why not have it together? Like, um, and, and, and provide a unique experience that no one's ever done before. What do you think, Jordan? I mean, so NFTs have had such a bad rap over the past year that I think they're going to have a really hard time just, I mean, doing that, to be to be completely frank. Um, I do think that, like, the, it'll be really interesting to see what happens uh, when, Ape Fe when Ape Fest finally happens, because... Like without NFT NYC, without NFT LA, without the actual conference bringing these really companies mainly, that's what it's for, um, would, I mean, we wouldn't be here. So you kind of, and, and they got to, I mean, there's supply and demand and they got to justify what their prices are uh, compared to the market demand. So I'm sure there are plenty of companies that are paying those high ticket prices and, and that's who they're catering to. Um, I don't know if it's if it's really for the average consumer. So it'll it'll be interesting to 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 see what happens over the next year. I'm, I'm really curious to see if communities can start to get people to flock to cities in the way that these conferences are. We will. We will. I I I have high hopes for that. Honestly, I think a lot of what we do with, as a Metatope team and a lot of what we're curating here are these are these relationships to create those experiences in the future. And I mean. We're not an event planner company. That's not our goal as a tech company. But like, we might have to, we might have to put on a strap on the boots and actually like do it because everyone has their strong points. And a lot of these communities, you know, it, it's really cool to see Board Ape. It's really cool to see D Gods. It's really cool to be. I mean, I talked to a physician in the. I talked to a pharmacist downstairs. I talked to Pokey. I mean, you got people from all walks of life that that really deserve uh and that are setting this uh, setting this world you know setting these events and I, I don't i don't think it really requires an nft nyc it just requires the projects to work together and and this is how also emerging projects can get involved i mean like i said none of the none of the projects i saw at the nft convention were any names that we've ever heard of i mean it was like it was like what are you talking about like this you're an nft nyc in your protocol okay interesting and it's like I feel like they're just they're they're taking like uh, they're taking whatever liquidity they can to throw these events, and I think that uh, it actually might save a lot of money by by communities working together and 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 people influencers. I mean, there's something I, I put on bearish on NFT influencer top 100. Like, who cares? I mean, what is an influencer doing for us in the space right now? Not much. And I mean, I'm friends with a lot of these people. I'm in influencer chats, and I'm not I'm not talking any crap about them. I think that a lot of them in this bear market, the ones that are left, the ones that are still sticking around and traveling, like they have a job and, and their life as an influencer is to create, is to create more uh, and create an onboarding experience, in my opinion, that, uh, that brings in more, more people. And we need to give them good stuff to get behind. Go ahead, CryptoMedic. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to comment. Like, I, I think, great, what you're talking about, we're not uh, event planners or, but, Really look at some of the companies that came before us, right? Things like Sony, Samsung, Epic Games, like that have these massive gatherings now, which really revolve around not just their company, but really whole communities of gamers and, and different types of things. So I think that that's potentially where this space is headed, right? Maybe not at first a single company holding something, but these projects, companies getting together and really formulating the space and pushing it forward. Medic, we lose you? Were you not able to hear him? He's, dude, I'm telling you, Enzo, this, I heard him until he stopped, and I thought he was still talking, but it didn't, like, you know, we're, we're this, this Wi-Fi at the public hotel is, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's special. This is the most special Wi-Fi I think we've ever, we've ever seen in a hotel. Chris, so you're, you're, you're on the rooftop right now? Yeah, the yeah, I'm on the rooftop. I, I, it's actually better up here than in my room. In my room, I couldn't even like it was connecting in and out. So, so why do you need Wi-Fi on the rooftop? Because we're in New York and there is no service. There is no service here at all. I, I'll bet you five bucks if you turn your Wi-Fi off. I'm running five G right now, bro. 
Yeah, but I mean, I'm telling you guys, I I have not. Uh, people are actually at this table that I'm sitting at that are not connected to the Wi-Fi. Can't even get into space right Chris now. Chris is down bad, bro. He's got Sprint. <laughs> yeah, he's got Cricket or something, don't you, Chris? <laughs> That's on the Samsung. But um, yeah, pretty close. Uh, Verizon here. You know, I, I I think they're punishing us. You know, they they cut out their metaverse team. They cut out their Wi-Fi team. I mean, it's it's bad. Just, just have Walker share his 5G out as Wi-Fi to you. But yeah, no, I think, uh, I, I mean, none of us here can predict the future, but uh, I think, uh, I think we can, what we can do is help change the future. And one thing I, you know, I talk to the guys about all the time is I think we need to, uh, we need to set an example once we have a collection that people can recognize us by and we can, uh, you guys stop, please. I'm, I'm over here trying to run a Twitter space. Thank you. Um, Sorry, we got brothers bickering. Um, yeah, we uh, we we got. I think that there's a really good opportunity for for um, for a collection like Metatope. I, I think it's going to be us to really disrupt and and bring these other and be that what we tell each you know what we say about our company to everybody is we want to build the infrastructure and the roads. And I think that might have to do in a in a, in IRL events too. I mean, I'm not quite sure what like I'm not quite sure what um, I'm supposed to do with this duffel bag in my room. But uh, I, I definitely wish I could trade it for like an NFT because it's actually costing me more money to transfer, probably get this stuff down to Florida than it is if I just had like an NFT like that I could just floor real quick. So I heard through the grapevine a couple of uh, days ago that you were actually really good at planning how parties. So maybe we switch to, a, you know, uh, a gathering company instead of a tech company because we have you. Yeah, man, I'm, you know, I figured if worst case scenario, I won't go home, so I'll just plan weddings. Um, plan weddings, yeah. Sounds like exactly how I, why, why I joined Web3 is to plan weddings. Okay, so Shelly and I are going to hire you within the next year, I'm I guessing. Know, I was that? setting the hook. I was waiting for you to say that. I was setting the hook, ready for, you know, you guys are going to be my first wedding couple. Cannot wait. What's our budget? 100 grand, 200 grand? Or do we need to get Richard Skillhorn to sponsor it? What's the deal? Can we wait till after Min and then I'll tell you what the budget is after Min? All right, boys. Uh, um, yeah, no, Chris, I, I just want to come back to one thing you said, because I think it's really prophetic, actually. It's it's uh, it's where I think the space is going. Um, and we can talk wedding planning later for you guys. But. I genuinely love the idea of using technology to empower communities because these communities are built on tech to begin with, right? We're taking some of the most revolutionary technology, no, not some of the most, the most revolutionary technology that all of us will see in our lifetimes with everything we're seeing with blockchain, smart contracts, non-fungible tokens, uh, zero knowledge proofs, everything that's happening here. And we have, we've used it to, to build communities. That's, that's really what's happened with, with PFPs and, and Twitter and everything going on. Now we're going to go to this next evolution, which is using technology to take those communities to the next level. So it's, it's building communities based on technology and furthering them with that technology. So it's way more than a collection. Um, it's, it's, it's way more than any one project. It's way more than any one product. And uh, yeah, Chris, you, I really love what you said. So it's going to happen, man. And, and uh, I, I, anybody that really believes in Metatope, like, just be uh just realize that like we have a lot of friends now we have a lot a lot of people in this industry i was just with k money and leap earlier today they are big advocates of us um leap wants to meet up with us at some point um so outside of you know these these uh web3 people shoving alcohol down their throats um yeah we've been making a lot of headway with people and people are uh you know recognizing us seeing us more often and um when we when we give them something to get behind i, I have a feeling that it's going to be a snowball effect and um, from there, we just uh, we get to we get to finally do our we get to finally do our job and uh, give and, and provide to the people, provide to the communities. And um, I don't think there's a I don't think there's a better group uh, that we've assembled than us. I mean, between Jordan Walker, Crypto Medic, Enzo, and down to even J Club, Q Music Guy, like Joseph, our 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 CIO. Like we, we, we're ready to rock and roll. And I think, uh, I think none of us want to get something closer than any, you know, than our team. And we just, we can't rush things. We just got to make sure that, uh, 
I think that we're putting in this, uh, we're putting in the legwork. We've got boots on the ground, providing, uh, providing an experience already and uh, setting that, setting that expectation for people that they are going to have a, you know, they have a team of real, real mofos, real MFers out here that are, uh, that are, that are ready to go to work for the communities and, uh, and cultivate our own. All righty. Well, Hey, on that note, um, I appreciate you hosting this um, medic and, and Chris and Enzo and Stefan um, walk. You're up here. Um, I see Poco in the audience, Coco. I know you're up there. Captain Z, all these, all these awesome people. Um, and I have a, a dinner meeting I got to run to. And yeah, let's, uh, let's shut I know, it down. I know we all got to get rolling. So uh, yeah, our, our, lim- our special edition space from NFT NYC live. Appreciate you all. Uh, we're going to have some awesome speakers next week. And uh, this, this, I can't believe this is our 43rd episode already. So you guys are awesome. Yeah. So next week, Next week, we have a chance of uh, potentially doing a Clone X takeover or even potentially a D Gods takeover. Um, we'll figure it out. But I, I think that, you know, let's get the, I think the D Gods will need about a couple weeks to uh, detox themselves. I mean, these, these MFers can drink. I, 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 I don't hang out with too many of them, but, you know, they're, they're here in full force. So love you guys. Thanks for jumping in here. Um, stay tuned for next week. We'll have some really good speakers lined up uh, once we get back into, uh, outside of the expo mode and uh yeah so talk 43 is a wrap thanks john for hosting this um and let's uh let's all have a great rest of your thursday and an awesome weekend see you guys next thursday peace yeah cyberpunk yeah yeah i mix my eat with polygon pythagoras made a mask yeah put those cash yeah. I see the metaverse through metatope, my eyes a megaphone Customize my empty skin to optimize my flesh and bone Phase 1 evolution, revolution Smart contracts inside your smartphone Phase 1 evolution, revolution Help me healthy ET phone Whole body markerless motion capture The metaverse broken after the metatope golden era The whitelist still open, hurry up what you need Golden chariot Holy virgins that's holding cherubims Paving the road with fairy dust Create, the, create the avatar of your wildest dreams Yeah, and use it inside your live stream and yeah. all your metaverses, favorite games and widescreen Metatope, visualize your digital ID yeah. I see the metaverse through metatope, my eyes a megaphone Customize my empty skin to optimize my flesh and bone yeah. Metatope is your mirror to the metaverse yeah. I see the metaverse through metatope, my eyes a megaphone Customize my empty skin to optimize my flesh and bone